Okay, let's get started with the smallest telescopic fishing rod available on eBay. That is a one meter long rod. The closed length is approximately 30 centimeters, which is about a foot. Uh, and a meter length for you guys in the US is three foot three, or just over a yard. Now at the end of the video, I'll give you a close up of both the rod and the reel. But for the meantime, we'll just get this extended. And it comes with a little cover for your rings, keep them safe. And if you've seen any of my recent fishing videos on the Thousand Yard Stair channel, this is what I keep in my little sling bag thing as well as the other things that we've got in here. So that's it, that's the entire length. It practically fits on the screen. In fact, it does fit on the screen. That's a meter, very, very small, but it actually performs pretty well. Give you a close up of the rings there. And see, they're pretty good rings. The real seat, it's just got a sliding lock on it. So in order to attach the reel, you flick that back. Uh, where are we? Slide it, put the reel in, slide it up, and click it shut. That actually holds the reel in very, very well. And talking of the reel, I've just got this little neoprene bag that I used. Now I'll put the link to everything in this video in the video description for you. There will be quite a lot over the next few videos <laughs> linked down there. Uh, that is the reel. Very small, but it does a good job. So to fix it, remember, we just open that, slide that back, put our reel in, slide that forward and lock it. And that's it, locked in place. Now I generally use this for spinning, with a small spinner, and I'll show you that in a moment. So consequently, I've got a small link swivel on there. I'll just show you what that is in case you're unfamiliar with it. And that just allows me to attach different spinners or detach them very quickly, without having to tie any extra knots. There's only four rings to thread through on this rod, so it doesn't take long to load it up. This is the spinner I generally use. It's like a MEP sort of thing, but it's actually from Fox. This is the size one Vibrax spinner. I find that silver generally works pretty well on my river, although we sometimes do use gold. Okay, that's got it locked in there. Now we're ready to fish. Doesn't take long to set this thing up. Hopefully you can see up the pond there. You might be able to see where this lands with any luck. Chucks out that little spinner for a decent distance. Other than the occasional perch that we've got in here, we don't really have any predatory fish in this pond, so I'm not expecting the spinner to actually catch a fish. purely just to demonstrate how far you can cast with this tiny little rod. And really for a small river you don't need anything bigger. So we've got a fully functional rod and reel which packs down to a tiny little package which will go in pretty much any bag that you're going to be carrying. And believe it or not, the whole lot, well at the time I bought it cost me under a tenner. So I think at the moment the reels have gone up a little bit in price, but you can still get this entire setup for under £15, which is certainly well under $20 for you guys in the US, and I think these are available worldwide, as surprise, surprise, they both come from China. <laughs> it's criminally cheap, I don't know how they can afford to send things like this so cheaply from China, you know, unless... They were using that as some sort of plan to destroy Western industry, which I'm sure they wouldn't do. 
Now, no matter what the motivations are of the people behind making these things, I would definitely recommend them. Look at that. <laughs> you know, you've got a canny curve on there for a telescopic rod. Hopefully you can see that, that's quite a nice bend. Every section has flexibility. With a lot of these things, and especially a few of the other ones that I've got, the bigger ones, the bottom sections are exceptionally stiff. This one bends all the way up. It's not just all on the tip. That's a nice bend. For such a small rod, that's impressive. And that's why I have this setup in my little bag. I absolutely love it. I'll just give you a close up of the reel in situ. And at the end of this video, I'll show you everything in close up detail. Now this reel does have a drag system. On the front there, you basically just turn it clockwise to increase the drag, anti-clockwise to decrease the drag. Yeah, that works well. The reel itself is smooth, considering it's such a cheap little reel. It is very smooth. And the handle also folds up as well. Let's see if I can do this backside foremost. Let's have a look. <laughs> Not used to doing it that way. There we go. So the handle folds up. That makes it easy to put in a little protective bag. And when you want to deploy it, all you do is open that out. Here the click and make sure the other end of the handle is well tightened up. If that isn't fully tightened up, you might lose the handle. I love this little thing. Obviously, it's not going to be any good in the sea unless you're just catching tiny little fish. But for small rivers, brooks, streams, very, very good. Also, very good for my little pond as well. And there's no reason why you couldn't use this with a small float and bait setup. I just tend to use it for spinning. So I'll give you a few close-ups of this gear now. And the very last thing in this video will be a video of my son catching a fish on this very setup and me almost catching a fish on this setup. Between us, we must have caught, oh, I don't know, three or four dozen fish already this year on this very rod. And I think we've only lost one spinner throughout all the times that we've been out. So it does cast pretty accurately. Obviously, if you're gonna be casting in something like this behind me, you don't need to be too accurate, but in a river, you know, you've gotta be there or thereabouts to get to where the fish are. This is the smallest serious or semi-serious <laughs> telescopic rod you're gonna find online. It's only a meter long. So we take the protector off there. That just protects the rings. Now for such a small, cheap rod, these rings are actually really good quality and the line zips through them. And the actual construction of the parts of rod, again, is very good. This has a beautiful curve on it, as you've seen before. The lockout well, the rod doesn't fall to bits when you're using it. And the handle itself is actually pretty comfortable. There we go. That's the release for the slide that locks the reel. So you put your reel in, you slide that, you lock it, and the reel sits in there pretty securely, as you'll see now. So this is our reel and I've got very small hands for a man. That is a small spinning reel. You probably won't find smaller anywhere online. And believe me, I have tried because I have probably about a dozen different reels, all of which are bigger than this. This is the smallest one I've found. Now this reel has a lock and that prevents it from being wound backwards. You get the lock off, you can wind backwards or forwards. I normally have the lock on and I use the drag here to play the fish. And it's really just as simple as slotting it in the front, moving this back part up, pushing it on till it's tight, and then flipping that little catch over. And that's locked in there absolutely solid. I mean, look at that, man. I, the camera's zoomed in now. And that is a tiny little setup. It's really, really compact. And when we're finished fishing, we'll simply take the reel off. We put the protective little case 
over the end of the rod just to protect those eyes like that put the reel in the little neoprene case sling the whole lot back into our pack and we're good to go no just keep fighting it Yeah, bring him in the side, that's it. That's it, that's got him. Very good. He's a decent fish. There you go, this one. It's an absolute beauty. It's not even going to fit in the net, that one, is it? <laughs> Jesus, that's huge. <laughs> uh, I was going to let it go anyway, but uh, what a bummer. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it the thumbs up. Share it anywhere online if you want to take clips from it, that's no problem at all. If you're one of the companies that produce these things, feel free to use whatever parts of the video you want. You don't need to contact me about it. Just use them. If it helps anybody, I'm all for it. So that's a cracking little rod for very little cost. That's the sort of thing that would go in any backpack or bug out bag. Very easy to use, performs well, but in the next video, we're gonna be having a look at something that is even smaller than this setup. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, see you next time.